Hi guys, I'm so excited for today's video. I'm in my happy place out here in my workshop and in front of me behind the camera where you guys can't see is the reason I am so happy this morning and let me flip the camera around and show you. Check it out guys, my neighbors were gonna burn this pile. They did not want it anymore but kindly thought of me first here. So here it is now, sitting here just begging to be used in some way or other. I am so impressed with these thin pieces. I don't know, can you tell here in the video or not, but um, some of these pieces are only a half inch thick. Just makes them so easy to work with. And also some three quarter inch stuff here. Uh, just beautiful wood. The only thing is we had some rain overnight and this morning, so it is still wet, but I plan to take some of these pieces apart here and turn a fan on them. I think I should be able to dry them relatively quickly here. So I have some ideas of a few things that I want to make. I realize this is more your rustic look. Uh, some of this stuff will not go as well with your modern farmhouse, but I do enjoy seeing a piece here and there throughout my home that still is, you know, pretty rustic looking. Um, we'll see what we come up with here. So these two pieces were obviously gates for this fence and I just love the look of them. Even the top part of the gate is kind of arched. I just wish they were just in a little bit better shape. But I'm sure they could be used for something. I'm not sure what all I'll get made for this video as far as using this old wood, but I'll start out by making some really simple things. Uh, first off, I've been wanting to make an old barn door, uh, just a small one to use as a sign, and I thought I'd show you guys how I go about to do it. Not that this is the only way by any means, but maybe it will give you an idea of one way that might work in case you're looking to make something like this. As I'm starting to sand here, I can tell I'll be able to get this wood to look like actual old barn wood. Um, it's amazing what sanding does. Uh, right now, you know, these pieces are kind of a solid stain. Um, you don't really see any edges coming through or anything. So it's amazing what sandpaper will do, bringing out some character, you know, grain and those edges. So I knew my little pins or nails were just going to be a tad too long for these, you know, the two pieces of wood here. So what I think I'll do is cover them up with uh, pieces of shiplap or plywood that we had used in the other part of the shop here. Um, that way um, it won't scratch up a wall 
with those little nails just sticking out the back just a little bit. It probably won't look the nicest, but I guess you won't really see it if you, you know, hang it on the wall. As I do with most of my projects here, I have plans to use my Silhouette Cameo to cut out a quote or words for me. And initially I thought I would use, you know, the actual vinyl decal uh, for my sign here, but as this wood dried out, it kind of created spaces in between the boards, and I knew that the decal probably wouldn't work as well. So I will just create a stencil and then paint the letters in, but before I realized this, I applied this wax over the wood, and I probably would have waited to apply the wax until after the words were on there, but this will work too. I can always, you know, apply a wax over the painted words too then if I wish, and if not, it's okay too. I am just using my usual Do It Best brand, you know, water-based paint here to apply these letters onto the wood. Unfortunately, my M kind of came into one of the cracks and it kind of looks incomplete. So I think I will fix that by just applying a small thin strip of white on the other board just to give it that finished look. Since I do a lot of repurposing, I of course have a large stash of hardware like knobs and pulls and hinges. Sometimes I feel like pitching it, but times like this I'm just so happy I hung on to them because I think I can use this to complete my barn door. So for the back of this door, instead of using the wood that I had originally fastened to the back to uh, cover up those little nails that stuck out, there wasn't enough nail sticking out to kind of hold that in place, the pieces of wood, so I just took them off and I'm just using a hammer to kind of hit them sideways. That way they're in there to stay and then it also will not scratch up a surface if it's hanging on a wall or something. thing I plan to do here is make a wooden box or crate of sorts 
Um, I've done this before on my channel where I used maybe new wood or newer. Um, never really used you know old rustic wood like this, so we'll see how it goes. So what I have here are the two end pieces and then the front and the back. And I'm gonna wait to cut my bottom until I have all these put together. That way I can get an exact measurement. Can you tell how pretty this wood is? I am so impressed. Look at the difference between the sanded and the unsanded. try something a little bit different for this box so hang on here it's not my usual just applying a decal although this would look pretty good too I think with just a black words but I have something else in mind here and any of the decals you see in this video will be available in my Etsy shop For my next little project here, I have three pieces of wood that I cut also using my miter saw. And I set the saw to cut at a 45 degree angle. As you can see, all three pieces have an angled cut. The small ones have the one end. And for time's sake here, I won't show this, but years ago before I used power tools, I would use a hand saw to make these cuts. So it is totally doable if you don't you know, if you aren't trusting yourself to use power tools or don't have the access to them, some of these simple cuts can definitely be made with a good handsaw.
So this project here is really simple. It's something I used to make a lot back in the day. Um, I would be a vendor maybe at little local fairs and stuff. Uh, very rustic. What I did is I just cut a piece of wood around 18 inches long. And once again, I will sand it and then probably paint it and distress it. And then I'll show you what I'll do with it next. I used my hacksaw to cut pieces of twigs that I gathered in the woods. These will be my letters. These could also just be hot glued onto the wood if you wouldn't have you know, access to a nailer. Our table is white in our you know, dining area and I've been wanting a natural kind of like a placemat or a long tray of sorts to put on the middle of the table for as a centerpiece. So I thought, I love the look of this wood. I'm gonna see if I can make something like that out of a couple of the pieces. So once again, I cut some wood using the miter saw. I made them around 32 inches long. So this is using kind of the same concept as the door, but I am putting the pieces that hold the boards together on the back side. You won't be able to see them then. Again, just using some old hardware that I had around here off of other old doors. I am just planning on gluing these pieces onto this tray or placemat. Um, I'll probably not really use it anyway to you know, grab a hold of to lift this. Um, I'll just remember it's just there for looks. Uh, but it's kind of hard with the, the large holes in here to just put little screws in here. I need to put those clumsy washers in there too. And I don't really want that look for this piece, so I think I'll just go ahead and try to hot glue it.
hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making these items out of the old wood. Um, it's just so amazing to me what can still be done with pieces like this. So definitely think twice before burning that pile of wood. There still might be some life left in it. I hope you're all having a great week and I look forward to seeing you in next week's video. Bye!